Deuxième explosion, Stade de France. Deuxième explosion. Accourez, accourez. Fleeing in panic and fear, people run for safety near the Stade de France. Inside the stadium where President Hollande was watching France play Germany, the sound of two explosions could be heard as a night of unprecedented terrorist attacks unfolded in Paris. Reports of more shootings and explosions soon started to come from the city centre. Some terrified music fans managed to escape the Bataclan concert hall, where gunmen took over 100 people hostage before picking off their victims. At least 80 people are thought to have been killed. One man described how he heard two explosions and then turned round to see two young men with Kalashnikovs. One of them was saying, get down, so we did. I was underneath some other people, he said. They kept firing, but from time to time they stopped. As police stormed the building, three of the terrorists detonated suicide belts. A fourth was shot dead. At the same time, other attacks targeted restaurants in the 10th and 11th districts, full of Friday night diners. A state of emergency was declared, and residents told to stay at home. Un acte this morning, President Hollande absolue. said it's an act of absolute barbarity, 127 deaths and lots of injuries. Families are in mourning and distress. Et the country blessés. is in pain. He said the attacks were an act of war committed by Islamic State, planned and organized from abroad with help from inside France. Condemning the attacks, the US president offered his help to France. We've seen an outrageous attempt to terrorize innocent civilians. This is an attack not just on Paris, it's an attack not just on the people of France, but this is an attack on all of humanity and the universal values that we share. This morning, shoes and bandages lie abandoned in the street as forensic experts begin their investigations and France starts three days of mourning. Just ten months after the terror attacks on the Charlie Hebdo offices and a hostage taking at a Jewish supermarket, Paris has once again been the target of sophisticated and coordinated terror attacks. Martha Fairley, ITV News.